at least 80% of black women in this day and age, it don't matter how old or young they are, they have a general dislike and hatred for you. That's your real climate, brother. Hello, welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Izzy. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the show. And in today's episode, we're gonna dive into those black women that have this deep, very, very, very deep hate for black men. Shout out to, oh man, I hope I pronounced it. Shout out to Kari, shout out to Carisha or Carisia. I apologize if I pronounced it wrong. Nonetheless, thank you for sending this clip. Let's get to it. Before we dive in and start breaking it down, I need your help. Take a second to subscribe. Some of you guys already know my YouTube channel is new. I started it 90 days ago and I'm trying to grow it. So please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. Help me by sharing this video and also by commenting. Okay, and now without any further delay, let's get it. So I'm sure y'all probably seen this video that I'm about to show you trending last week or so. And it was a white man that goes by the name of Jimbo Idaho on TikTok and his black wife. They were driving and, you know, I guess they saw a black man somewhere and he said he wanted to pick him up. But his black wife was like, no, we're not picking him up. There's already too many black people in the car. You guys are going to see it in a minute. And she even called the brother an N-word. Now, somebody by the name of Art Kathy on Instagram made a reaction video to that. Check it out. Black women, 80% of them, they don't like you. Is it 80% of black women that don't like black men? That I don't know. Those of you that's, that's been watching my content, you guys know I don't go, I don't speak of emotion. I speak of facts. There's no data that supports 80%. There's no, there's no number. But what I will say is this, is a lot of them. There's a lot of sisters that dislike black men, okay? And the reason why it seems like it's 80% is because the ones that dislike black men are the ones that's barking loudest. They are the loudest on social media, on IG, you know what I'm saying, on TikTok. They are the loudest. And the sisters that do, that does love black men are quiet and silent they don't say nothing that's why it seems like 80 percent of black women don't like black men so i can't say that number is right or wrong i leave that up to you guys let's keep going 80 percent i'm i'm probably sure it's more but at least 80 percent of black women in this day and age it don't matter how old or young they are they have a general dislike and hatred for you that's your real climate, brothers. I keep trying to tell people that Idaho is not as racist as everyone thinks it is. So we are out in the middle of the desert. We're driving along. Mm -hmm. And I see a car that's broken down. Mm -hmm. And there's a black man. Now, there is not a very a whole lot of black people here in Idaho, right? Not a lot. So I'm thinking nobody else is probably going to stop to help this man. Mm -mm. So I'm just like, you know what? You know what? We should stop. We should stop and help this man. No, we shouldn't. I'm like, what? And she's like, uh -huh. I was like, you know, no one else is gonna stop. Not my problem. And I'm like, come on, we gotta help this guy out. No, we don't. See, <laughs> no, no so, we do not. So see, see, I just gotta say, like right now, like she said, we already had too many we black had, people yeah, in, in the car. Too many already in this <laughs> in this little vicinity. It's too many. She said ninjas. Ninjas. That was ninjas for anyone that. No, she, she has a speech impediment that was uh, a little slow. <laughs> it's very, very sad, my people. Very, very sad. Love who you want to love. Marry who you want to marry. Procreate with you. It doesn't matter. But the second you decide to impress your non-black spouse and this your own people, shame on you. Shame on you. You are a sellout. You are a sellout. You are a sellout. So this says, my smile knowing Kevin Samuel can no longer disrespect black women. So she's celebrating the death of Kevin Samuels. She's not celebrating he lost his YouTube or TikTok account. She's celebrating that he is dead 
Only black women celebrate the failure of black men. Unless you're gay. If you're a gay black man, you love. If you're a straight black man, you hate it. These women don't, they don't like black. Listen, they hate you for even existing. And they hate you if you go out and get you, get you a, a woman outside of uh, America. I hate men. Like, I hate men. If there's a hate club for men, I want to join it. I want to be in it because I hate men. There's just nothing about them at all that I like. I Who hurt you, baby? I hope you find, um, I hope you heal. And I find and find, um, you know, some peace in your heart. I don't know who hurt you. <laughs> don't I sound like a female? Yeah, I hear it in the comments all the time. Whenever you try to criticize um, uh, a female or a female ways or something like that, um, that's all you hear in the comments, right? When you come with some type of truth, that is uh, that is something that they that they don't want to hear. That's usually what you hear, right? But this this she's just straight up saying I hate men. <clears throat> but you know why that is? It's because of society today. Uh, society tells women that uh, they're equal to men, right? And you can do whatever a man does, but it doesn't actually go so well for them. Like for example, you know, a guy can have you know you know hook up with a lot of girls, and he's looked at as a player, or he's praised, or being called a ladies' man, right? Especially amongst his uh, fellow peers that are guys, lady does it now, ho, slut, nah, whatever. You know, she might get praise from some girls, but the rest of society is gonna condemn her for it, right? Especially not gonna go tell her mom, yeah, I just had, I got about three guys that I'm that I'm hooking up with actively, right? No, she's not. But girls are not gonna go out and tell everybody that in public, especially their parents, right? And I am not done with you yet. They tricked you. Oh no, baby. The only ones around here that have been tricked are y'all buying into this European patriarchal ideal and systems where you don't even get a seat at the table. You would rather be the lowest man on the patriarchal totem pole than to return to your Afro indigenous cultures and matriarchal systems. I strongly suggest you get out of black women's way and watch us work to free us all. If you want to be the oppressor, just say that. What in the hell is this chick talking about? Listen, African system, they believe in God first, man second, woman third, children fourth. Even to today in 2022. So what in the hell is she talking about? And I will close by saying I'm Nigerian and I grew up in traditional values. Okay? So she's full of shit. She doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. And I feel sorry very sorry for the man that will marry this woman because she will make his life a living hell because she thinks she should be the head of the household just by listening to what she said she believes she should be the head of the household man get the fuck out of here with that bullshit anyway what do you guys think do you agree or do you disagree either way leave the comments below so we can get this conversation started now we wrap it up for today's episode and thank you for joining me so please leave a comment uh, below if you agree if you disagree it doesn't matter leave the comment below and also you tell me what you want me to cover you tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to okay and that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you on an endless episode please don't forget to subscribe let's rebuild the black nuclear family it is needed Okay, God bless.